Hi, Daphne. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Yes. Uh, as promised, we were coming today. Yeah. And uh, we are on our way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to come and pick you up at my place. Okay. And then we're going to go to Nairobi. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. your home oh, I'm so glad yeah. more than you are. oh wow yeah. thank you so much yeah. and uh, I know you know when we run the nomination mm -hmm. um, I, I wasn't sure how to go about it but then I, I asked people to just nominate a mom and uh, I saw a lot of people came and supported you yeah. and uh, I think that should be a good thing that should be a good thing in 2020 mm -hmm. because uh, like we've been saying times have been so tough and yeah. here we are and uh, life has to go on True. yeah but um, please uh, tell us what you do uh, how you became a mom okay. tell us more about your baby all right yes. I will mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a lawyer mm -hmm. I'm a lawyer by profession wow. though currently I'm not working okay I got a baby okay my leave ended and uh -huh. I have had to be on a paid leave oh, yes yes yeah okay so mm -hmm. I'm a new mom oh yes I was supposed to get my baby in November, uh -huh. November, November, around November 12. Okay. But then on 2nd August, uh -huh. I got convulsion. Uh -huh. I had preeclampsia. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. When I went to the doctor, uh -huh. he said that it's an emergency uh -huh. and the baby has to be removed. Uh -huh. By that time, I was about 26 weeks, wow. 26, 27, 26 weeks uh -huh. pregnant. Uh -huh. So the baby was very, very pretty. Mm. And uh, on that day, I was just here. At, I was in the house, mm -hmm. and uh, I went to the hospital. Just mm -hmm. the hospital around here. Mm -hmm. I never thought that I'm going to get the yes. baby. Yes. You know, but yes. when I got to the hospital, the doctor was like, "It's mm -hmm. an emergency. The uh -huh. baby have to get the baby." Yes. So the baby was so small. Mm -hmm. She was like 1.4 kgs. Oh, wow. And in that hospital, uh -huh. they don't have a nursery. <gasps> okay. But I had to be. The baby had to be removed. Yes. And then now they had to look for a nursery where the baby will be taken. Will be taken yes. Yeah, yes. and it was at night. It was at night. Uh -huh. So, and it was so hard getting a hospital to take the baby. I didn't have a medical insurance. Oh, no. So the hospital I was being told was like a Gakan, uh -huh. get through, they yes. needed a deposit of yes. 500,000, yes. and it is at night. Wow. Yeah? <sighs> Then Kenyatta, mm -hmm. Kenyatta they were saying they don't want any admissions mm -hmm. from other hospitals yes. but somebody helped me and they secured an admission in Kenyatta. Okay. So I went to Kenyatta uh -huh. with a baby mm -hmm. in an ambulance. Mm -hmm. Then the situation in Kenyatta, mm -hmm. that is on the public side. I'm yes. sorry to say but the government really need to do something about our hospital because yes. the situation there was so terrible, mm -hmm. there were so, it was so many babies. Mm -hmm. So I just had to find a way mm -hmm. of how I'm going to transfer her yes, to yes. another hospital. Yes, yes. But now instead of transferring her to another hospital, mm -hmm. I transferred to Kenyatta oh, private wing. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I transferred to Kenyatta private wing. Mm -hmm. So it was not easy, Maureen. Seeing my baby in the incubator, yeah. in a ventilator, yeah. the bill is rising. Yeah. Okay, at first we were told to put a deposit mm -hmm. of 100,000. So I thought even though the bill would be a lot, yes. maybe it will be like 200, 300. Yes. Yes. But by the end of the first week, it was going to 400,000. No, no. Yeah. 
it was going to 400,000. Mm -hmm. And when I was talking to the doctor, mm -hmm. the doctor was saying, we'll mm -hmm. get started when the baby gets to 2 kg. Being in the ventilator yes. made her drop from 1.4 to 1 kg. No. 1.0 something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then she also had, uh, she had gotten an infection on her foot mm -hmm. that also had to be treated. Mm -hmm. She needed blood. Mm -hmm. Then there were so many things. The bill oh, no. was escalating. Yeah. Then my baby dad had just abandoned me just oh, like no. that. He was not talking to me. He was yeah. not picking up my calls. Mm -hmm. These are bills. I don't know how I remove money. So it was a very challenging time yeah. for me. Yeah. For both me, for the baby, for mm -hmm. my family. Mm -hmm. And also remaining sane at that time. True, true, true. It was not easy. Yes. And also, mm -hmm. I had to stay away from the hospital. Yes. Because if I was also to stay in the hospital, that oh, means I also no. have a bill. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my goodness, how was that for you? I used to go every morning what? to the hospital mm -hmm. so that I don't have my own bill mm -hmm. and the baby's mm -hmm. bill is also escalating. It was very hard. Oh, no. Very hard. My yeah. I used to go to the hospital by 7 mm -hmm. and back here by 8 because that time there was curfew for 9. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so we stayed in the hospital for almost two months. I thank God, mm -hmm. my friends and my family, they came through for me mm -hmm. and uh, we managed to pay the bill. Yes. I come from Nyeri. Okay. I couldn't go home because uh -huh. every week I was going back to the clinic. Yes, yes, yes. But yes. even right yes. now, yes. I still go. Yes. So I still had to be in Nairobi mm -hmm. because of the baby's clinic. True, every true. week, every week, mm -hmm. I have to see the pediatrician mm -hmm. and ophthalmologist. Because staying so much in the oxygen yes. made her eyes get affected. Oh. Up to right now, Maureen, I go to the hospital every week to see her ophthalmologist. Oh. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the journey is getting easier. Okay. She's almost turning four months. Oh. But uh, her real, she should be turning a month. Yeah. She was born three months before time. Yeah. 26, 27 weeks. Yeah. But she's a little fighter. She is like a fighter. Like her mom. Yeah, because she's a yeah, your story is so incredible. Yeah. I I could read uh, you know, from the people who nominated you, but you know obviously there's so much you can read. Yeah. But then there's the real story from yeah. you. Yeah. And I think you're such a strong woman. When you don't when you have nothing else left but being strong, yes. that is what happens wow. because for me I didn't know that I have this kind of strength mm. but just seeing my baby there in the ventilator right. I just had to be strong yes. I used to go to the hospital in the morning and cry mm. and just tell God to make her come out stronger because yes. in the nursery it mm -hmm. is a very it's not a good place to be in mm -hmm. I wouldn't mm -hmm. even wish on my worst enemy true, true. because you'll see a baby has just come yeah. then tomorrow in the morning you don't find that baby mm -hmm. okay but some babies are born very preterm oh. others are even 500 grams oh goodness so being there i mm. learned mm -hmm. i learned so many things yes i learned so many things from other mothers mm. what people go through mm -hmm. so right now i don't i take it as a blessing True. because i'm stronger mm. and i know how to take challenges yes i didn't think i have this kind of strength I but imagine. I'm thankful that now she's okay and yes. I'm hoping to go back to work in January. Okay. Because now, okay, July, mm. I have taken a leave in July. Because yes. my pregnancy was not that easy yes, from yes. July. Yes. So you see, now three months finished in September. Oh, yes, yes. So October, November, December, I'm on unpaid leave. Yeah, so I'll go back to work in January. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm okay. telling you, especially mm. when you're a mum. Yeah. You, you know, you don't even understand where that strength comes, comes from. from. Exactly. Yes. I didn't know. Honestly, yes. I never knew I was that strong. But the yes. moment I got my baby, yes. I just had to be strong. Uh -huh. I learned to trust in God more. Yes. To pray more. Yes. Yeah, and just to, now all I want is mm -hmm. to go back to work, work hard, yes. so that I can give her the best. Because I call her my little miracle. Oh, thank you. She, she is. is. She yeah. is. Oh. Oh.
So this is the D-Day of breaking ground, meaning that we're going to Daphne's house. We'll take her away and the work shall begin. Let's go. Daphne has no idea what we're about to do and day one obviously will involve the larger transformation. We change the walls, there will be a bit of change in the lights and have my guy on standby thanks to Lipa later because you know we had to like act quick uh, because some of these things are quite tasking and there's a lot of uh, planning to be, to be done and here we are finally the day is here I can't even believe it. So let me call the guy in charge so he can tell us more about what he's gonna do today. Hello. Come here. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> we are finally here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. Yeah. So um, maybe you can tell us what's going to happen today and the next two days. Okay. Yes. So um, yes. First of all, we are excited to, to undertake this big, big project. Yes. And today we want to start with wallpaper. Mm -hmm. So we will do wallpaper in the sitting room yes. uh, and the bedroom, yes. master bedroom. Yeah. And then the lights will obviously change. Yes. Uh, so that is what we'll be doing, the activity we'll be doing today. Okay. Then tomorrow uh -huh. we will do a bit, bit of woodwork in the, uh, in the kitchen, uh -huh. in the TV area and also in the master bedroom. Yes. And then on Thursday, uh -huh. we intend to now come do a bit of cleaning, deco will come in, yes. and then I think we will be ready for the reveal. Great! What do you think of this place? <laughs> it's so beautiful. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. We're gonna enjoy. Yes, You're please. Feeling like we're in heaven. Yes. <laughs> so, guys, tomorrow I need you to be ready by nine. Uh, I want to take you yes. to the spa <laughs> and the baby. And afterwards, by the way, we have a mini photo shoot for you. Hey, wow. the baby. <laughs> hey, <really? laughs> So be ready, okay? Okay. Yeah, be ready and uh, let's enjoy the day tomorrow.
is day two we are heading to the spa and we'll have a photo shoot later so uh, <laughs> they're in here they're in here so we'll be heading out to Mudaiga and uh, just show you what we are out to do today <laughs> going to hand the house over to Carol Daphne I'm so excited I've not seen the process so I don't really know what to expect but I trust my team 100% and I hope we're going to make her Christmas and the next um, you know the rest of her life in a way in an impactful way completely you know jubilated and uh, appreciated and we hope we can give her a set off to her life so let's go and see the house and I can tell you the transformation is to die for only three days and our team managed to pull it off and Carol is outside so she has no idea what to expect and so we'll be bringing her in a moment now and I can wait to see the reaction I can't wait to see the look on her face and I hope this is going to be the beginning of many blessings in her life we're so happy Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm too ready to see. <laughs> <laughs> so, who are your expectations? Can you suck up, suck up, suck so that you can get surprised? Of course, I'm ready. <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> the longest thing you tried. What are the demands? Yeah. So, you guys, shall we? Yeah. 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 And, whew, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so, so nervous. Either we make it or we break it. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. And great. I hope you're ready. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
I don't know whether you I don't know whether you know sir that you have a fridge now. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah, 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 and you have a rack. Thank you, so yeah. much. you have more storage over there. Thank you, Natasha. Yes, there's only one thing missing in the bedroom, but it's on its way. I don't know what to say or how to thank you guys like I'm so happy like I've ever been happy until you just don't know what to say yeah all I can say is thank you and God bless you so so much and all your favors be fulfilled everything you ever wished for to come true thank you Maureen and thank you so much Lisa later God bless you I love you guys so so much Thank you, and yeah. uh, we hope this sets you up for life, just to remind you that no matter how difficult things become, there's always room for that, and you never know when your miracle will come, however small it is, yeah. you know? My name is Sharon from Nipaleta. The whole makeover process has been incredible, and it has been amazing, and 2020 has been a rough year for all of us, and we hope for better in 2021. Uh, before I talk about Daphne, I'd like to thank Maureen Waititu for the endless support, the patience that she's had throughout the whole process. Thank you so much, Maureen. Um, Daphne, we really hope that you like what you've seen so far. Very well. thank, you so much. thank you for trusting us with your house and trusting us to help you end this year with a bang. And then we should be grateful, <laughs> not you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.